So, this is going to be a very rushed entrance into today's vlog because I am running late because I wanted to sleep late so that I'm well rested for the day and of course I didn't sleep at all. My bag is now packed. I just need my jacket. Great, okay, so let's get to the point of the vlog while I rush to go get breakfast. Um, so... This is a vlog that has post been postponed three times. It was supposed to happen in February, and it is now the end of April. So, it has really taken forever. Sorry for the bad lighting. It is really early. It is now almost half past six, which is way too late for what <laughs> I wanted it to be, but it's fine. So, today is another starry day. So, if you guys don't know what a starry day is... Um, I've done one before on my channel. It was, I think, the beginning of last year. The beginning of 2021. Yeah, beginning of 20... or 2022. I can't remember. I'll have to go check, but it was a while ago. So, basically, what a Stereo Day is, is that it's a day organized by the university, well, usually a specific vet in the university, where we trap and sterilize feral cats. So basically just to prevent overpopulation of feral cats in any area. And then we also do um, feline AIDS and leukemia testing if we suspect the cat might be infected. And yeah, we sterilize them, mark them and release them back. So last time we did about 40 cats. This time we're supposed to be to do like 20 to 25. But yeah, just quickly gonna make myself breakfast and then I'm gonna leave. Hey guys, I just got here. I'm in the queue to get in now. No idea what I'm supposed to say when I get to the front, like I'm here for the starry day or where am I going? Like I honestly don't even know exactly where I'm going. I'm guessing the library. That's what they've mentioned. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I'll just drive in and I'm sure that I'll find someone somewhere because they told us where to park so I'll probably run into someone somewhere. Uh, well, there, and then we'll decide and figure out where to go. So, yeah, I am really nervous. I don't know why. Like, I'm also excited, but for some reason, I'm so nervous today. Like, all the way I was so excited, and now I'm just nervous. I don't know why. I think also just a rush, because I was a little bit late. And then I made it with time to spare. Like, I'm here. I was, well, I was here f 15 minutes early. Now I just have to get in and find the place. So I only have 10 minutes left. But, yeah. I'm getting really excited now because at least the rush is over. so just a quick update it is now just like 10 to 11 uh, we just had our tea break which was really nice had a muffin <laughs> haven't had a muffin in so long but anyway it is going really well we've done 14 or 15 cats so far um, I've been on uh, sedation and clinicals all the way so I got to sedate one cat which was really fun because we have to like trap them in the corner I think I have a video of that um, and then stab them in the ass to inject them so I had a very vicious extremely strong cat because like 
for one, these feral cats, their skin is so tough and then obviously their muscles are also really hard. So then when I put it in, at first I thought that I hit bone, but it was just muscle that was really hard. So that was really interesting. Um, but got him sedated, that was great. And then at clinicals, we take heart rate, uh, respiration rate, temperature, all of those things to make sure that they're more or less healthy. And um, obviously stuff like weight markings, all of that basically as like registering the cat. And then we send them on to get prepped and then they go to surgery. I mean, I like clinicals, I really like it, but I also want to do something else. So we'll see how that goes, but it's going really well and I'm really enjoying it. I'm struggling to get clips because we're really busy at the moment, but we'll see how it goes. Also, I'm just recovering at the moment because it was such an insane day. It's, I mean, it's, yeah, it's, it's three o'clock now, so the day isn't even over. I just got home, um, just visiting because I still have to go to the pet sitting place again tonight. I'm gonna give you guys a quick rundown of the day. We sterilized 32 cats, most were female. We had a lot of gingers. Um, so most of the day I was on clinicals and sedation, so I only actually sedated one cat, but I did get to sedate a cat, which is awesome. Um, usually the vets just do it, but I got to do one, so I'm very, very happy with that. Um, so I think I have a clip of it where we have to basically trap the cats in one corner of the cage so that we can get the sedation in. Remember, these are feral cats, so we can't really just reach into the cage and hold them to get them sedated. So, um... We do that and then once they're out we take them to clinical so we get all their basically we get their tpr which is temperature respiration and pulse temperature pulse respiration um <laughs> so we check that they're basically healthy we check their mucous membranes so if they're pale or anemic or something like that we had the one cat that had worms and an extreme flea infestation that was obviously a little bit anemic so you know, it, it really sucks, but the thing is that you need recurrent worm treatment for something like that, and we can't trap the same cat every few months. So, um, yeah, uh, let me just fix the lighting. <laughs> and then after they've done their clinical, so we take their temperature, respiration, pulse, um, we weigh them so that we can administer the rest of the medicine, um, check their hydration status, all of that. So after we do we've done all of that, we send them to PrEP, then at prep, uh, the females get shaved, the males get plucked. So with the males, you literally just like pluck the hairs out of their balls. So um, you can go and see that on my previous video. I'm pretty sure I didn't get a clip of it this time, but I did do it in my previous video. I'll somewhat link it below. Um, and then so you pluck or shave them and then disinfect the area where the surgery is going to happen. You also add eye drops because cat's eyes stay open when they are um, when they are sedated. So it literally dries out, so you have to add eye drops to keep it moist. And then we also tip the ears, so it's basically, for one, it tells you what the gender of the cat is, and then also for future sterile days, if we trap the cat again, we can tell which ones are sterilized, which ones aren't. Which actually did happen this one, one of the cats that were trapped was sterilized. And then with the females, you also have to express the bladder, which is a very interesting thing. I also diagnosed a pregnancy today! and correctly so it was when i was at clinicals i just felt around because we have to mark if it is a pregnant female which i don't know how to feel it yet because i've never felt it yet but i was just feeling and i was like either this cat ate something ridiculously hard in about the shape and size of a baby or there's a baby in here i mean it was pretty small i mean one baby was probably about this big so it really wasn't big but um it was so hard like not difficult like the the babies were hard 
So I was so confused because I was like, this seems too hard to be a tiny little fetus, but apparently it was. So that was very interesting. I was very, very excited about that because I'd never done that before. So I was really proud of myself. And um, yeah, so that's all that we do at the prep station. Then they go either for like proper, then they go either to theater, which is like when you spay the females because that is a much more invasive procedure or they go to castration for the males so castration the fourth years and older are allowed to help um so that's where i got to do my castration because i almost very nearly did basically microsurgery because i was standing there watching the castration and the vet was like do you want to do the next one i was like yeah sure and then the next one was like this 10 week old little kitten and i was just like i don't think i want to do this one not for my first one not when there's such a big chance that i mess it up i don't want to do it on a tiny tiny little thing it's just so much easier to screw up so the vet did it and he struggled so much because it is literally so tiny um i did get a couple of pictures of that but no video so I'll see if I can insert it, um, because also I can't really insert any gross and bloody things. And then for space we also had two, no we had three vets at some point I think, two or three vets, um, doing sterilizations throughout the day. And then when they're done they just go to post-op, so we give them a reversal agent for the anesthetics, for the sedation, and then we just spray some disinfectant again on the wounds to make sure that there is no infection afterwards. And then they go back in their cages and then about summer to night they'll be released. Um, we just keep them in the cages until the drugs have worn off so that they don't do something stupid. Uh, so yeah, it was a really nice and successful day. I really enjoyed it. It went really, really well in my opinion. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. There's not much else that's going to happen today. So I'm just going to end the vlog here. I really hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you have an amazing day. <laughs> Bye guys.